Today I'm going to be changing the Wi-Fi on the MyQ Smart Garage camera. Let's get started. Okay, I'm going to start this video by going into my phone settings. Then I'm going to tap on Bluetooth. What we're doing is deleting the camera from the Bluetooth devices. So what I want to look for is a name that starts with SGC or GDO. So there's nothing in GDO, so we'll go down to SGC. That's the camera right there. So I'm just going to tap on the I and hit forget this device. If you have already, if you don't have it in this list, well, you can move on. We just needed to delete it if it was there. So now I'm gonna get out of settings. Now I'm gonna launch my queue and I'm going to put the camera into pairing mode. So I'm going to just turn it on to its side. And if you're facing the camera, this is the left side. And I'm gonna grab a paper clip and just insert it in the hole of the camera on the side. And so there's a little button that you have to hit and you can fill it when you press in. And then you wanna wait 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I counted fast, but I hit the button before I started counting. Okay, so the camera just restarted. It has a white light on it. We're waiting for a blue flashing light before we can move on to the next process. So you can take Take note of the name of my camera, it's testing. You'll see why that's gonna be important in a minute. So now the blue light's blinking and that's blue. Trust me, I know it doesn't look like it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit plus like I'm adding a new device. And then I wanna hit video solutions or tap video solutions, then smart garage camera. And then I'm just gonna check all these boxes and then tap I'm ready. And then it says plug your camera in. We've already done that. Blue flashing light, we've got that. So now I'm going to tap on um, the camera. So if we hadn't deleted this device, the pairing wouldn't have come up and you wouldn't have been able to connect to it. If you're watching this video, you've probably already found that out. So I'm going to hit I'm going to tap on pair. Now it's looking for Wi-Fi networks and mine happens to be secured. Click on the one that's yours. Now I'm going to put in the password. Now you want to check and make sure that that password's right or you're going to be repeating this all over again and that's no fun. Now I'm going to tap next. Oh and our lights gone from blue green now. Doesn't look like it but that's green, blue. So now we want to put in a name. Now I'm going to call this testing new. And I'm just going to put in a location. It doesn't matter for this process, as long as it was in your old one. And then I'm going to hit next. Now, so you may think that I'm adding a new device, which I'm not. So this takes a little, a few minutes for it to sync up. Okay, you can see that I have my my camera as testing. Now that's my only camera. So I'm going to go ahead and tap start live feed. And boom, there we are. So even though we called the new one testing new, it must use the serial number from the camera and it just puts it back into place. So far, this is the only way that I've figured out how to change Wi-Fi's. So thank you for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.